think that I underestimated this transition from Playa. Like, I just feel so, like overwhelmed. Like, I just like went from zero to 100. Okay, y'all so I just landed I just checked into my Airbnb this is my room I'll give y'all a full tour of the house I'll show y'all later but I am so hungry so we we about to just hit the streets real quick I have no idea where I'm going and just go get some street food or find something to eat I got cash at the airport so yeah let's just take a stroll <laughs> i can't believe i'm here y'all like this is crazy and this house is so beautiful and this dog's here oh my god there's dogs i'm running out a room in this house this house is actually like fabulous it's like a six bedroom house it's a rooftop terrace it's just it's amazing y'all it's a home gym so i'm gonna show y'all everything once we get back but i need to go get something to eat okay the guy over i guess the only guy that speaks english so i can order my food <laughs> i feel like mexico city is going to challenge me and i'm ready for it and yeah so i'll see y'all when i get my food this is my drink 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 this is my there's just so many trees right in front of the window. I feel like I'm in the rainforest. The ramen has just arrived. It looks really good. This is my first food in my new city. Wow. Oh my God, y'all. We have finally succeeded in finding ramen that's good. I'm in Mexico City. So today is like my second day. I'm still unpacking, so this room looks, it don't look that bad on this side. 
but when you get to this side it's crazy but um yeah so mexico city y'all is a lot bigger there is 20 million people over 20 million people in this city is i believe let me not get my stats wrong but it's like the fifth biggest city in the world not in north america the world so yeah just double check y'all it is number five for a biggest city in the world it's over 20 million people which is 10 times as big as houston and it is a little like intimidating coming here from little small beach town playa and it's gonna take some getting used to obviously i just know that this city is gonna challenge me like i already know it like i'm already being challenged because everywhere everybody speaks spanish and i don't so i'm doing a spanish immersion program so i could finally learn spanish i think i told y'all that i just kind of feel like this small ant in this big city like i don't know but i'm excited i may go to an event i found out about tonight y'all know i'm gonna find i'm gonna find my people okay so i may go there i'm trying to decide how i want to approach this city when i first got to playa i didn't really like make it a priority to go out i didn't do any excursions y'all for like five months and i don't want to do that this time this city is so huge that i want to go on the tours i want to do all the you know touristy things um now like i don't want to wait and plus i need to learn my way around so i have to do that and uber is here it's just so big y'all like this y'all gonna see i went out last night just walking just trying to explore i didn't take y'all but i was just trying to explore the neighborhood and baby i probably walked for like an hour and i it was just so many people y'all so y'all gonna see i'm gonna take y'all out today we're gonna go grab a coffee go get food and now I, I think i want to press out my hair so i need to go buy a flat iron and a blow dryer because i just don't think i'm gonna find somebody who can do my hair out here i don't think it's gonna happen <sighs> so we're about to roll out y'all just grease my scalp and comb my hair out so this is what it's giving and um yeah so i'm gonna give y'all a little tour of the house the house is beautiful it has some beautiful artwork in here and there's some cute little doggies here and oh yeah i said i was gonna tell y'all why i decided to like run out of room versus do my own apartment again so i'll tell y'all that after y'all see the house so let's check out the house so as y'all can see this is my room y'all i'm told you i'm still unpacking this room is a really nice size that's me like look at this room look how big it is are you kidding me i like little boy today but that's fine this is the room i have so much storage so um this is like the dresser desk thing and lots of natural light so when you come out the room this is another room for rent and this is the bathroom y'all can see it's very much like authentic mexican home decor which i love so i'm sure in the bathroom but no one's here so it's really just me right now and housekeepers here two more rooms oh i gotta show y'all this it's so cool but we'll look at that later so then you come down the steps okay so we have this really cool statue here and another cool statue <laughs> This is the living area, this living room. Like, look at all this artwork in here, y'all. Hi, doggy. Hola, Cara. <laughs> She's scary. <laughs> She's running away. Um, a bar, a big, nice mirror. Check yourself out while you're leaving the house. This is the door. And yeah. And then this is the garage. This is another room. So it's a five bedroom house. And this is the dining area. Cut the light on. Say hi, Kara. Say hi, girl. <laughs> okay, this is the dining room. Another big mirror. And then this is the laundry room. And this outside garden area is just so beautiful. It's just so nice. And that also goes into the kitchen. So if 
we go this way, we can get into the kitchen area. My stove, and then you have the pantry. Well, not, well, I guess it is a pantry, but this is where all the dishes are. And then you have Kara. Hi, girl. Hey, where's Sophie? Where's Sophie? <laughs> she finally let me pet her, y'all. She was so scared. She would run into her cage. <laughs> Say hi. Her little pigtails. This is Kara in Sophie's room. And then, y'all, there is a rooftop terrace. There's a freaking rooftop terrace. Say hi, Kara. Oh, she's scared of my child a lot. <laughs> okay, so let's go see the rooftop. Let's go see. So we gotta go back up the stairs now. Up the stairs. Another beautiful painting. So nice. Kara coming out of her hiding spot. Okay. So just to reiterate, you got my room. This isn't even the master, y'all. This is the crazy part. This isn't even the master. Okay. Man, this thing is so scary. Oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, geez. Still not used to this. This is the rooftop the housekeeper is cleaning sheets like this is just so this is I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all why I decided to rent this room while I'm up here because this is just reminding me why and then there's also a home gym it's a really nice gym but I don't feel like going over there I'm out of breath y'all while I'm up here on this beautiful terrace Let's talk about why I decided to, you know, stay in somebody else's house. First things first, it is not as easy to rent an apartment um, in Mexico City as it is in Playa. It was a lot more difficult. A lot of landlords I found don't like renting to foreigners, period. Like they just, there's their belief system. You know, Mexico City is one of the most gentrified Mexican cities here in the country. So I can understand why they feel that way. Um, secondly, if you do find a landlord who who's okay with renting to you as a foreigner most will require you to have your residency card which i don't have and i don't have a desire to get it right now because i knew that i wouldn't be in mexico long term you know so as a u.s citizen i can stay here for six months and anytime you leave the country and come back it restarts so y'all know i'm always leaving so like it just always restarts but um yeah so that's really the main reason it was i found it super difficult to try to even look for an apartment number two is i feel like this experience moving here is so much different than it was moving to playa because playa is a lot smaller and with it being smaller the community felt larger <laughs> i've only seen like two black people since i've been here i've been here only three days but you know technically two days whatever i've only been here a little bit but um it's a much bigger city so when i went exploring last night i didn't see a lot of people who look like me and it kind of just made me feel like a little isolated even though we are here like there's a black community here and I don't want to just be surrounded by black people either so you know let me throw that out there but um I'm a people's person I crave human interaction I crave human connection and I just wanted to be I needed to feel like I had somebody near and I looked this place up I found an Airbnb and there was a lot of great reviews the house is really spacious so it's not a small space you know so I just went with it, rolled with it, and I'm happy with my decision. And the host here, the, the guy who owns the house is amazing. He's super sweet, he's super, super nice. And you know, there's a daily housekeeper. I'm in a great neighborhood, like I'm in the middle. I'm in like, y'all know me, I'm gonna still be in a nice neighborhood. Um, but I'm just, I don't know, I just felt like this was what felt right for Mexico City. Also, let's talk about Airbnb. So, Dias de los Muertos, which is Day of the Dead, is coming up. Um, that's basically around the same time as American, like Halloween, but it's Day of the Dead for Mexicans. And in their culture, they basically celebrate their ancestors and, you know, people who 
people who have passed away and um, it's very special and traditional and I've always wanted to attend Day of the Dead and I can't believe I'm here. Mexico City is one of the most like places where people come like it's, it's big here, it's big here and it's big in Oaxaca and um, because of the holiday y'all when I tell you it was so hard to find an Airbnb so that was another reason why because I already couldn't get an apartment and then the Airbnbs I found were all basically rooms anyway. People are traveling here for the holidays and I'm gonna be here for months. So it just worked out. I'm very happy I'm here, y'all. And my mantra is if things don't work out, I can always leave. If things didn't work out in play, I would leave. I would have left. If things didn't work out here, I would leave. If things didn't work out in this Airbnb, I would leave. <laughs> like I always have options. I'm so blessed for that and grateful for that. So yeah, yeah, I got the house tour. Yeah, I got the reason why I'm staying in somebody else's house. And I feel so at home, y'all. I feel like I'm at my like long lost Hispanic family's house. And I just, I'm just so happy. There's dogs, like, Moving up or I can be very lonely and I don't think enough people are talking about that. So I'm gonna make a video on that, but I just wanted to be around some people and I just think it's cool to be here in a house and it just feels so homey and they're sweet. And yeah, I'm in the middle of a neighborhood, not a high rise. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm getting a better, more authentic taste of the culture. So yeah, I'm excited from Mexico City and we about to go get food, y'all. So I'm done talking. Let's go. Oh, Lord. Oh, miedo. Also, if y'all was wondering where I have sweatpants on, baby, Mexico City is a lot colder than Playa. It's cold. It's cold to the point I got to book a flight back to Houston to go get my cold clothes. I need jackets. I need hoodies. Like, baby. I was freezing my first night here. I got rained on, y'all. When I went to go to that um, Japanese restaurant, which was so good. So good. Speaking of food, I gotta go. Okay. 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 I've been so in awe of trees. Like, do y'all see this bamboo tree? I've never seen anything like that. But look, it's so busy, y'all. I don't know where I'm walking. I got my my latte, and now I need food. Just left the restaurant. <clears throat> About to go to Sally's. I think it's only like a 10 minute drive. So, wanna see another part of the city. store so I got what I needed from Sally's now I'm just walking no idea where I'm going so the name of the area this is is Polanco and this area is screaming bougie okay I just passed the Mercedes dealership y'all and everybody's staring at me I don't know if it's because the camera or my hair or I'm black I don't know 
maybe all three. We got the Audi dealership and it stopped raining thankfully. So I really don't have a clue where I'm going. I'm just exploring more new neighborhood. Oh my God. Y'all look at this spa. Look at this. Yeah, like I said, this is a bougie area, y'all. I'm definitely not dressed. <laughs> Oh my god, the North Face. Okay, I do not need to be shopping right now. I just spent 200 in Sally's. And I just like, Mexico City is huge. Oh, this is a fragrance store. Y'all, it's giving, I feel like I'm in Beverly Hills right now. I am not kidding. Baby, I gotta go to Houston. I gotta get my shit. <laughs> I'm happy because this is the place where you can put that shit on. I can feel comfortable to put on my clothes and my shit, if you know what I mean. I done seen G-Wagons, Prada bags, Gucci bags. I'm like, okay. Cause I wasn't wearing my stuff in, in Playa. You know, Playa isn't the place for that, but, but we in the Beverly Hills of Mexico, so. So yeah, I'm gonna keep exploring y'all. And what is this? Look, girl, I'm just finding everything. Why is it not focusing? There we go. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see the men with, with the suits on over there, baby. But it's like something about a lounge. Is that taboo? Oh, somebody did tell me they have a taboo. Y'all, this is, I'm not, look at me. See, this is a misrepresentation. I gotta go get my shit, y'all. I'm gonna book a flight to Houston. <laughs> No, baby. No. I see you face to face. I'm thinking about the days we used to be. But I can't make it see. Oh, I can't make it see. I got you on. Mexico City is absolutely great for networking. 
you know, end. I got six months left of this little eat, pray, love journey I'm on and it's back to work. So I want to make some connections, meet some people. Um, and like, I had, there's a WeWork hub here. AT&T has a headquarters here. Like there are some huge companies that's located here. So what that tells me is this is a great business hub as well. So yeah, we're getting to it right away. So I just, you know, I'm trying to just find a good balance between networking, getting to know the city, you know, getting back to myself in terms of just getting glam and getting dressed up, but also, you know, making sure I'm immersing myself in the culture and like really embracing Mexico. So trying to make sure I keep that balance of doing that because in Playa, you know, it was no blitz and glam, it's just straight beach town. But here, I feel like it's a happy medium. Like you have the bougie side, but then you also have the more down to earth side of Mexico City. So, like baby, I swear y'all, this is giving Beverly Hills. Like, they had, a, I passed Cartier, I passed Rolex, I passed um, Hermes, I, passed, I mean, they have everything. Go train Gabbana, Rolex, I said Rolex, babes. So it's just like, I'm just happy that it is, I can find a little bit of everything because I'm not just one thing. Like I'm, I'm bougie, you know, but I'm also a hippie. So it's like, today made me feel better. Is that a black dude? Y'all, it's a black dude. It's my first black person I saw today besides myself. He got a box cut. He black as hell. <laughs> feel good now. I was gonna be sad if I went this whole day and didn't see no black person. I found one. So, that's today's adventure. I'm gonna go back home, straighten out my hair. I'm gonna attempt to, y'all, about a flatter and a bow dryer and some, some products. So, yeah, I'm gonna go flatter my hair. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. It's Friday. It don't feel like Friday, but. <laughs> yeah. It took me an hour and a half to do this and it's not even <laughs> I had greased my scalp earlier today not realizing I would be pressing my hair out so it's definitely giving stiff a little bit like look so I'm gonna wrap it 
hopefully by tomorrow. I got a little body going on, but y'all can see. Yeah, girl, I was getting ready for bed. It's 11 o'clock on a Friday, and I'm in the bed. Cause I'm a child of God. I just left this restaurant. I was very underwhelmed and a bit disappointed. <laughs> it is so many people out. So I'm headed to the mall to go uh, buy me a jacket. Y'all, it's so cold. It's not even really cold. It's just I've been used to the heat. So that's where we're at. I'm really here, honestly. But I was just not expecting it to be this many people out. Like. So, I still can't wrap my mind around how big this freaking city is. every 10 minutes I just feel very overwhelmed and I almost just want to like I don't know I need I just want to go home <laughs> Made it back in the house y'all i am trying not to like suppress how i feel and literally just sit in it let me just put y'all right here and i just want to be i'm sharing this because i want to be transparent about traveling and like living in different countries and cities and i don't know why i feel like like i feel so overwhelmed like i'm crying in the in the uber here about to cry now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I think it's because I'm on my cycle. But it's also like. I don't know. I just kind of feel out of place here. Everybody stares at me. And I don't understand the language. I keep telling y'all that. But you know that's my fault. I'm going to learn Spanish. And it's just such a. This city is like. Enormous. Like I don't understand. It's so big. And I think that I underestimated this transition from Playa. Like, Playa, I had my community, I had the beach. You know, it was more like simple, easy going. Um, oh my God. It was just like a very calm, just calm place. Like, <laughs> and then I'm like in this super loud, city is traffic everywhere and so many people i just feel so, like overwhelmed like i just like went from zero to 100 and i know it's normal you know to feel like that but how i feel is kind of weird like i never i'm used to change i'm used to getting up and going i got up and went to houston i got up and moved to playa you know i just got up and moved here but this feels different like I mean, I've only been here, what, three, four days, so I'm trying not to, like, sum up my whole experience because I, I haven't done nothing. <laughs> but, 
Um, I don't know what to do. I tried to go to the event this morning, the trap brunch at that restaurant. I was telling y'all that didn't go great. The food was nasty. The black people wasn't really black people in. Like, I don't know. I just wasn't, it wasn't really, I wasn't really vibing with it. I don't know what I need. I don't know what to do. I mean, I got to be patient. I know that. Like, I'm not saying I want to leave. I'm just saying that so far, <laughs> um, this isn't how I thought I was going to feel. Not me crying on YouTube. Don't look cute. Yeah. <laughs> and then the man came by, y'all. I was on the stairs, y'all know. And then the lady came by, said something in Spanish, and I didn't understand what she was saying, but she smiled and walked out. So I was like, maybe she just saying hi. Like, I don't know. And then, like, five minutes later, the man, there was security lady. So then the man security come by and was like, no, 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 no. And I was like, no, es in Espanol, poquito Espanol. He, like, no sitting on the stairs, like, yelled at me. And I was like, fuck. So I got to, and I just cried. Like, I'm just so emotional today. And it was just like, you know, I was already. I was in the mall and I was just feeling so overwhelmed. I was like, oh my God, so many people, everybody bump, bumping into me, moving, walking so fast. And I couldn't, the, couldn't read the maps. Like I was just, oh, I'm like shaking. Like, I don't know. Ugh. Who is she? This is not jazz. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm like this close, y'all. I am this close to going to a bar. And y'all know I'm on my 90-day sobriety. My 90-day alcohol fast. And I'm on day 45. I'm literally, today is day 45. I'm at the halfway mark. But I literally, all I want to do right now is go to a bar and just go get something to drink and just get drunk and pass out. But like, I don't want alcohol to be like, you know, an escapism. <laughs> And using it as like if I'm stressed to just go get a drink. Like I don't want it to become that. So I don't want to do that. But I really want to unwind at the same time. And I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't smoke weed or nothing. So I just don't know what to do. How to like. I don't want to think about it. I just want to go get drunk and just be goofy. Me back happy. Like just not happy. Like I'm happy but I'm sad right now. But I'm also on my period. So, you know, when you drink, it prolongs your period. So, I don't want to add two, three days to my period either. Ugh. I don't know. I just, you know, I'm trying to sit in it and process it and just let it be. <sighs> Maybe take a nap. And it's frustrating, too, because I feel like there's nobody I can really talk to that will understand like if I call my friends they're not gonna really understand how I feel my family don't get it you know and it's just I think that's a big part of it too of like me constantly knowing I'm about to be moving around and how important relationships are to me like I'm meeting so many temporary people and I feel like I'm a temporary person like, I'm shedding friends I had and, and family members who don't care to come see me. Like, I think maybe that adds to it, too. Like, me being in a new city now, I already don't know nobody here. And, like, I feel like I had such a good tribe in Playa. And now I, like, just uprooted my life. I don't know. It's just, it's all of it. And it's crazy because... This fear, like how I'm feeling right now, this is a fear I had about me moving to Dubai. Because I'm like, Playa is small, quaint, you know, like just a little beach town. And Dubai is so grand and lavish. And I'm like, am I going to be able to adjust to that? I didn't sped up my process and having a hard time in Mexico City. Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to get through. Take it day by day. Um, I'm just gonna edit. I didn't even edit. I didn't even like my food, so I need to go get some new food. But today was just bad. <laughs> like, I don't know, food was shit. And I got overwhelmed at the mall, and the security yelled at me. I'm like, oh fuck, it's too much. 
But when did I get so pussy? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think I just need to go get some meat. Don't go get a drink. I, if I go get a drink, I'm going to be very disappointed with myself. I'm going to have to start my 90-day alcohol fast over. Like, I'm going to be so disappointed. Like, I've been doing so good. And I just got to take it day by day. And, you know, this upcoming week, I'm going to do some tours. And just get to know the city, like, in a more organized way. Because how I'm doing it now is, like, it's not organized. I'm just bouncing around. But I want to get to know it in an organized way. Maybe have somebody, like, you know, show me and explain and give me the history. Like, I think next week will be better. I think tomorrow will be better. Hell, the rest of this day better get better. But I just wanted to share with y'all my right raw feelings about this move so far. I... I'm not enjoying it, but I'm confident in myself above all. So no matter what, I'm going to find some good here and things are going to turn around. It's just currently, this is how I'm feeling, but I trust that everything works out for me always. Everything always works out for me, but I'm human at the same time and I'm having a hard time. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that the next vlog y'all see will be happier, will be good news, better news. I'll be having a better experience and a better time here in Mexico City. And try not to walk my ass in a bar. I just want like a margarita. <laughs> and to just like, you know that stage of tipsiness when you just feel light and everything is funny and like, nothing is bothering you that's what i need right now but i um, also don't want alcohol to be an escapism for me at all so <sighs> i gotta feel it i just gotta let it run its course and i do think a lot of it is attributed to my damn period <sighs> that's what i'm gonna blame it on <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. I'll see y'all in my next vlog. I'm sorry this one was so damn sad.